Welcome to World of Warcraft. This is, as you know, his name is Deathwing. Now today, we will be doing an Elemental Shaman. And from the very start, no issues or anything, no bonuses, no buffs, no nothing. It will be a fresh start, and as you can see right here, I've got several different realms. We will be doing it on Cairn. Now here you've got your character creation panel. This is where you can create your characters. You know, you've got your classes down here. You've got your gender right here and your races up here. Let's let's go through the races. Here's a human. See, very human-like, you know, nothing special. Across from him, you've got your orc. You can see, standard war character, nice and buff. Real strong, power hog. Power hog. You got your dwarf. Your dwarf. Okay, they've got really nice muscles, of course, for mining, and so, yeah. There's your dwarf, nothing real special about him. Next comes your undead. Here's where it gets fun. These guys have very nice abilities. As you can read over here, they, have, they can remove fear, sleep, and charm. They may cannibalize, which allows them to regain health and mana. If you say, roll a mage, you can cannibalize to regain your mana. The Tarin, as you can see, is a nice bovine standing on two hooves. You know, he's got two hooves down here. And then he's got his two-fingered hands with the thumb. So, yeah, he's real buff, too. Then you have your Troll. These guys are extra fun to play. They get a speed bonus. Yes, a speed bonus. We will be rolling a Troll Shaman, simply because I like the starting area. So, without further ado, let us create our character. Let's change the skin color a bit, you know, get him nice and blue. Uh, face, mm, face features, yeah, let's make him mad. Let's make him real mad. And I mean, why would I be a shaman? For those of you who don't know World of Warcraft, it is a Blizzard game. It has over 15 million subscribers, with more subscribing each year. Of course, as of right now, the be they, most subscribers are on the beta test, the public test realms, which are a um, game, uh, paid entrance only. You pay for the game, you get entrance to it. It's a feature that allows you to test different features in the game that are to be implemented during patches. Most current patch we just had was the 4.3.0 patch which introduced a feature known as transmogrification and void storage. What these two features allow you to do is the transmogrification allows you to change up your weapon, gear, you know, what you look like into something more appealing. You know, it appeals to nature. So you can change, say, your mace to um, High Warlord's Hammer, you know, level 60 hammer. You can change your single, your level 85 mace, then it looks crappy, you know, it's got spikes and all that. You can change that to a nice mace. You can also change your robes to, say, a nice looking robe, like the, um, Tattered Dread Mist robe. So, that's an heirloom. So, yeah, that's what transmogrification allows you to do. You can do your head, your shoulders, chest, back, the back, the fur, the main hand, off hand, stave, your shield. You can do your equipped throne, your uh, bow weapon. You know, if you've got a ranged weapon, you can do that. You can also do the feet, do down to the feet, basically everything down to the feet that you see. Can't do necks. Can't do um, rings or trinkets. Those are nods. So, let's see here. What color do we want him to have hair? Oh yes, the Void Storage. The Void Storage is about 100 gold to open it. Rather cheap. And uh, it allows you to have an infinite storage space, basically. Store multiple items there. 
and um, they'll stay there indefinitely. Ooh, that looks nice. They will stay there indefinitely until you pull them out. And to deposit, it costs money. To withdraw, it costs money. To um, basically do anything, it costs money like everything else in World of Warcraft. So let's name our shaman. Let's name him Glubtuck. Okay, there we go. We have our shaman. See, he's looking pretty badass already. Yeah, I'll say we need to get him some clothes, though. Alright, let's enter this realm. Now, if you are familiar with the lore, you would know each of these characters. You got Tyrande Whisperwind, Vol'jin, of course, there's... Exiled years the ago from their lands in Stranglethorn Vale, the Dark Spear Trolls attempted to make a new life for themselves amongst the disparate races of the Horde. Under the leadership of the noble war chief Thrall, Vol'jin and his savage trolls had at last found the honor and purpose they had been searching for. But now, under the rule of the headstrong Garrosh Hellscream, the trolls fear that the Horde could tear itself apart. Vol'jin knows that whatever threats loom ahead, whether they be from within the Horde or from without, it is cunning trolls like you who will fight to preserve the honor of the Horde. Alright, here we go. Yes, as you can see, I do have a bunch of add-ons. We are going to go disable those real quick. We got a nice drum beat going on back there. You can see this new character. His name is Zuni. Of course, every troll you start, he helps you. So let's go and disable these add-ons. You know, simply make the game more fun. And more alluring. Okay, we're back at the, the character start. Here's all my add-ons. So we're going to disable all of them. We're going to load what's known as Titan Panel. Simply because I need the bag and the gold. Location and the experience, okay? We're going to enable that. And then we're going to enable recount and scroll and combat text. That's all we're going to do. Oh, gotta have doctor damage. Gotta have doctor damage. That'll be it. So now let's 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 play some glove tuck. Let's, let's get him going on. Yes, for those of you who like to watch live broadcasts, you can catch my live broadcast at um. It's the website is known as. Justin.tv forward slash black underscore heart 21 all one word so this is your first quest the rise of the dark spear the dark spear tribe have long been victims outcasts we find we found ourselves fleeing our homes time and time again but this time it's not fleeing that drives us here Vulgin has offered us leadership through wisdom, and it has kept us alive this long. Yeah, now that this some wisdom offers portents of a chaotic future for the horde under Garrosh Hellscream. No, this time we not be we not fleeing. This time we are fighting for a home that will last. It's time to bring your train in, Glubtuck. Speak with Nakili to the east. Meet with Nakili in the Darkspell training grounds. Okay, let's here. go follow Zuni. Now, here is the new Darkspear training area. It's the Darkspear Isle, appropriately. It's down here. This is Durotar. See, there's Zuni right there. We shall wave to him. Let's go get our quest. As you can see, I just gained 75 rep and 170 damage. Pardon me. Now we must destroy six tiki targets. These snakes. So let's start. Shall cast lightning bolt. Go lightning bolt. Lightning bolt, fire away. See, trolls are the best for new players because. They've got your basic hitting targets. 
allow you to train for them and such. So yeah, they they're very easy to play. Now, some of your harder court classes, your undead or orc, your Taran, they take a little bit more experience. You can play the game now for free up to level 20. Very nice feature I think they've done. Now you see, we just completed the quest. So we talk back, we talk with Nikili some more. We get the experience for that. Oh, we just leveled, look at that. See how easy? Two quests and we've already leveled. Now we gotta kill these cats. We gotta kill six of them to gain the pelts that we need. Yes, they will jump at you. Doesn't do much damage though. See, that's what we want. We want the wild main cat pelts. Times six. Just a reminder, this is to do an elemental shaman from scratch. And I will be recording this through a three hour session. And you all are very welcome to watch it. Uh, or you can just sit and play however you want to. But this is this is to get the most out of your damage when doing PvP. As you can see I am experiencing a little bit of lag. No problem. My computer is built to handle that. I have to kill let's kill two more wild man cats. Now, this is the buff I was talking about, a speed boost. Berserking. Now watch how fast I attack. And cast one directly after the other. And then attack about five percent faster. Very nice, very nice ability. I think they did a good job on that. See, there's your warlock. Wave to him. Be friendly. You got your hunter, warlock, warrior. No standard. The standard races. The first races. See, that's the very first loot item you get, and that that is, in my opinion, the very best idea they could ever come up with. You start out with a green. Make yourself feel good. Make yourself feel special. Yes, yeah, stay away from the voodoo. The voodoo be bad, man. The voodoo be very bad, man. I'd like to see the sea witch try. Wouldn't you guys? Yeah, the sea witch would like to try. But she only managed to kill someone. I will not reveal. <laughs> Simply because I don't want to do a spoiler alert. I'm lazy, yes. So now, let us train Primal Strike three times. See, we come over to this Tiki Target. There's one. Oh, and it's critical at 25. And another critical. And let's get another one in there. Oh, 13 hit. And now we got one more to do. Dr. Damage does this. See, it gives you a nice bonus. It gives you a nice, nice display of damage, co-offs, and buffs. When you've got buffs and all that on there. Explains how much damage it'll do compared to normal ability. Compared to normal. Now let's go talk to Vulcan. First, let us equip the Dark Spear Shaman. Shamanic Staff. Yeah, it's looking very badass right now. See, it is, uh, this is what I was talking about with the transmo. You can do head, shoulders, back, chest, shirt. And I think you can do the tabard. I'm not certain. You do your wrist, your hands, waist, your pants, your legs, your feet. Main hand, off hand, and relic. Or you can't do relic. Hey, there's that warrior we saw earlier. Or hunter. Wave to her. She's probably AFK right now. There's that warlock we saw earlier. Wave to him. Let us watch this. 
they think oh, you're more like your father human. than you thought. Even without the demon blood. You are lucky that I don't got you right here, Well, You are foolish to think you can speak to your war chief in such ways. You'll be no war chief of mine. You'll not earn my respect. And I'll not be seeing the whore destroyed by your foolish thirst for war. And what exactly do you think you're going to do about it? Your threats are hollow. Go slink away with the rest of your kind to the slums. I will endure your filth in my throne room no longer! I know exactly what I'll be doing about it, son, a hell scream. I'll watch and wait as your people slowly become aware of your ineptitude. I'll laugh as they grow to despise you, as I do. And when that time comes, that your failure is complete and your power is meaningless, I will be there to end your rule, swiftly and silently. You will spend your reign glancing over your shoulder and fear in the shadows. For when the time comes, and your blood be slowly draining out, you will know exactly who fired the arrow that pierced your black heart. You have sealed your fate, troll. And you yours, war chief. As you can see right there. The Dark Spear are here because I led them here. Ograma be no home long as it be under Hell Scream's hand. Still I fear I was letting my temper drive me to being rash. Thrall devoted himself to making the Horde what it is. So I've no eagerness to be leaving it on a whim. This will be needing much more thought. But these be worries for all their minds. You still have much to learn. Go help the people of the Dark Spear. I'm sure we'll be speaking again real soon. Alright. What happened during that vision? It was about how Garrosh how oblivious he was to the way he was treating the Horde. Now, if you had read the, um, lore about it, you would know that Garrosh is the son of Hellscream. Grom Hellscream. Grom Hellscream is Thrall's blood brother. Not his true brother, but his blood brother. Thrall was the war chief before the Cataclysm. Now he's the, what's known as the Earthbinder. Oh, we got Zuni. There's Zuni, we must wave to him. We are leading him. Zuni's a very crazy troll. But anyways. Um... I know this is probably busy work, but I don't mind. These baby raptors are cute little devils. Indeed they are. However, back to what I was saying. Thrall, the Earthbinder, is a shaman. Don't be shy. He is the world shaman. Try not to make me look too bad, eh? He will save the world. Bring it back together, you know? In the new dungeons, known as the, um, Dragon Soul, you defeat Deathwing, and thus save the world. Right now, we're going to go save baby raptors. A much smaller step to saving the world. These baby raptors are corrupted, or have a chance to be corrupted, that is. As you can see, we just got corrupted. We got a one, a one stat reduction right there. Not very much. <clears throat> I seem to have something caught in my throat. Dung beetle. 
Oh, now we got a two stat reduction. Let's see what the dung beetle has. Nothing. Dung beetle's still clean. Let's kill another raptor. Oh, we got three stat reduction. Now you see we're getting dangerous here. These guys are horrible on that. <laughs> That's because we're melee attacking him. If we weren't meleeing, we wouldn't be taking the corruption. But I'm just showing you the effect that it does. It does five stat reduction for each time you hit him. So now we will be lightning. We will be doing lightning on him. As you can see, I got three other players lagging behind me. I'm trying to steal my nice little baby raptor hatchlings. Jerks. And there we go. I just got 12 hatchlings. Yes, I do help people. Ah, I got shrunken. You see how cute I look? I'm so tiny. Yes, I did help him, that hunter, that jerk. I, myself, am not a jerk. You see, I'm doing this video to help you people who want to do an elemental shaman, but don't know how to get the most out of your DPS. So now, let's return back to the island and turn in these quests and get the rewards, shall we? Hmm, I seem to have grown again. I like being tiny. A nice little shrink going on there. If you happen to watch these videos, check out Total Halibut on YouTube. He does videos similar to what I'm doing. So... Before the Cataclysm, Wrath of the Lich King was the most popular and best designed expansions, in my opinion. They, it was one of the best, really. So, yes. I think they screwed up with Cataclysm. But they're supposed to make it better again. Yeah, I'm supposed to make it better again. Not likely go. Oh, there he is, there he is. See, this is the guy you gotta catch. Swift Claw, Claw is a crazy little raptor. You don't even have to walk with him. Nah, just run. He takes you. Look at that raptor. I want that raptor. He's so badass. Look at it. Look at it. Look at them claws. And claws look sexy, don't they? Yes. Look at the furries. Not me, though. And then we turn him in there. Look at him running around like a freaking idiot. And you slap him. Like, wake up, dude. Being watched. So yes, we just completed one quest chain there. A quick quest chain. Didn't have anything to do with this. So now, we have to go over to this one. See, that's where Zuni jumps in. I like Tortunga. Tortunga. I like his name. I want that name. I'll be sure to, Zuni. Maybe. There's not but thousands of them down there. They just keep coming. 
See, that see which the guy was talking about that jailed Naga was talking about. Leader of these guys. Leader of these spirit scale Nagas. Now the Nagas were blood were night elves at one point. They got corrupted by Ashara. And thus, you have Naga. Spirits be with the they followed Illidan, and so yeah, they they got to the be seeing ya. the skull of Gul'dan, and that helped. Uh, oh, what did I know? Ah, I oh, there's you. Dooney again. Let's stick together in here, okay? Together, man. Yes, I had to be a I had to be a troll about it because I am a troll. Looks like we might have some trouble here. Shamanism time two. He shrunk. Hey, does that happen now? Oh, yeah. Duh. The uh, tiki totem. The tiki skull. The 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 territory of flesh or thing, whatever you want to call it, that kind of thing. Fish, shrink these guys. Yes, they take about one hit. Territorial flashes do a lot of damage, don't they? Not really. Zuni be stealing all my Naga. See, these are the Nagas. These are what I was talking about. I'll zoom in and show you here. Yeah, you see this one's a female. And you got your, you got your male over here. Pretty badass with that pole arm, huh? Drop down here. And cover this one. Go over here. This is Zuni beginning uh, meanness going on there. I'm be insulting them, yo. And the jokes start. Yes, I know I've got male people, but I'm not worried about it. It's just my core hound pet. Hate the little bugger. That little bugger messed up. Told you this was a fresh run. I don't check my. I won't check my mail until level ten. Thus, we saved the achievement level ten. I'm sure he has Zuni. There's no need to throw that out there. It's inappropriate. Highly inappropriate. I don't know what it is with Sunni. He's so inappropriate. Yes, yeah, Sunni will heal you. Because he's a level 4. The only problem is he will not heal himself. So he may not. He may be a total fail. Yeah, I don't know. Let's open the small barnacle clams. Let's see, you get clammate. Oh! Oh, did I hear a rogue? No, not over there. Must be up 